Hello and welcome to Daily Prayer on Christmas Eve. My name is the Reverend Paul Lavender. Welcome to Mount Pleasant Baptist Church. It feels really strange being here Christmas Eve and not being surrounded by many other people as we would gather to worship the Lord. Uh, later today from 8 p.m. there's going to be an act of worship um, which you can participate in to help you to prepare your hearts and your family for Christmas day it'll include some readings it will include uh, some music and some prayers you'd be most welcome to join me for that but right now as we pray together let's bow our heads and remember the presence of Jesus with us now Psalm 147 praise the Lord how good it is to sing praises to our God for he is gracious and a song of praise is fitting. The Lord builds up Jerusalem. He gathers the outcasts of Israel. He heals up the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. He determines the number of the stars. He gives to all of them their names. Great is our Lord and abundant in power. His understanding is beyond measure. The Lord lifts up the downtrodden. He casts the wicked to the ground. Sing to the Lord with thanksgiving, make melody to our God on the lyre. He covers the heavens with clouds, prepares rain for the earth, makes grass grow on the hills. He gives to the animals their food and to the young ravens when they cry. His delight is not in the strength of the horse, nor his pleasure in the speed of a runner, but the Lord takes delight in those who fear him, in those who hope in his steadfast love. Praise the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion, for he has strengthened the bars of your gates. He blesses your children within you. He grants peace within your borders. He fills you with the finest of wheat. He sends out his command to the earth. His word runs swiftly. He gives snow like wool. He scatters frost like ashes. He hurls down hail like crumbs. Who can stand before his cold? He sends out his word and melts them. He makes his wind blow and the waters flow. He declares his words to Jacob, his statutes and ordinances to Israel. He has not dealt thus with any other nation. They do not know his ordinances. Praise the Lord. Lord, we thank God for his word to us and for his blessings upon us, his people. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, as we await the birth of your Son, Jesus Christ, give us a glimpse of the mystery of the Incarnation. Cause us to wonder that the Creator of the universe emptied himself of the splendour and glory of heaven and took upon himself the feeble frame of a fragile baby. Restore to us the ability to stop, the serenity to ponder, and the creativity to gaze in wonder at the Christ child, the radiance of the glory of God the flawless expression of the divine nature at God made man, God in human form, God manifesting himself with a vulnerability which asks to be touched and handled and seen and known and loved. And teach us this year to love you without inhibition, that this Christmas the glow in our hearts may bring joy to you, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. Our reading from the Bible comes from the book of Titus, Paul's letter to Titus, from chapter 2, verses 11 to 14. For the grace of God has appeared, bringing salvation to all, training us to renounce impiety and worldly passions, and in the present age to live lives that are self-controlled, upright and godly, while we wait for the blessed hope and the manifestation of the glory of our great God and Saviour, Jesus Christ. It is he who gave himself for us, that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify for himself a people of his own who are zealous for good works. Amen. Thanks be to God for his word. Jesus came that he might prepare us to do good works for him, to bring glory to his name. Over the next few days, Though it's a very strange time, and even as tomorrow, Christmas Day itself, will be the strangest we've had for so many years, may we know that Christ came out of love for us and to help us to live lives that are worthy of him and that glorify his name 
so that by our character, our conduct, as well as by our conversation, we manifest the Lord Jesus in all we do. Let's confess our faith together in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, and the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Now let's turn to our God in prayer for ourselves, for our world. Let's pray together. Firstly, tonight, today, whenever we're praying together in this way, we pray for those who are lonely, for those who are sad, and especially for those who face this Christmas either in hospital or the first time celebrating without a loved one. And we ask for the comfort and the presence of the Prince of Peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And as we remember the persecuted church throughout the world, oh God, we pray to that today for the church in North Korea, where it's celebrated as the birthday of the late Jim Young Suk, the grandmother of the current leader. Only secret Christians know about the birthday of Jesus Christ, our Lord. And we ask God that he would protect those secret gatherings of worship over these next few days, that the Lord would indeed protect and bless his people. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And then as we pray for the work of BMS World Mission, as we remember those who are marginalised, we ask that the Lord would be with community mobilisation initiatives in Guinea, Uganda and Mozambique, that it might prosper and improve the quality of life, but also through faithful witness by Christians serving in this way, it might lead others to follow Jesus, to become disciples, and to glorify him. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And then we pray for ourselves and for those we know and love in a moment of quiet prayer. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. Let's share together in saying the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. O oh Lord, we exalt and praise your name for you are faithful to us and have done marvellous things, things promised long ago. For certain you are our God, we trust in you and you save us through Jesus our Redeemer. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you and with those whom you love and with God's people everywhere, today and forevermore. God bless you today. Trust that you will stay safe through the day. Please continue to pray for one another. If you're able to, pray for me. I look forward to joining you tomorrow for Christmas Day services. A reminder about the act of worship this evening that will be available from 8pm. Uh, you're welcome to join us in that celebration. But until we meet again, goodbye and God bless.